All right, we're going to review this Oregon 410 chainsaw sharpening um, electric sharpener. Oregon 410. There you go. Hold that. Come up close. Okay. So this is a great chainsaw sharpener. What happens is we uh, we have a ranch here about 10 acres and and we need to keep our um, our things sharp and it's just it's always been a challenge sharpening it with um, with files and and those sorts of things and so we've got this electric sharpener because it really saves it really saves a lot of time. I would say if you are, you know, if you are um, cutting firewood, you know, and you're cutting, you know, a few cords a year, you, you know, this electric sharpener is just so much easier than using a, uh, a file. It's just so much easier than using a file. The problem, when you use a file, the problem is that eventually, unless you're filing everything exactly the same each pass, eventually um, your, your cutting tooth width, this, this width right here from this end to that end on the tooth, you know, that end of that, and eventually one's going to be a little shorter or a little longer than the other. Your gullet's going to be off a little bit. They're going to have minor inconsistencies that are going to start building up over time. And then your chainsaw is just going to be completely out of tune. Your, your cutting chain is going to be completely out of tune. Uh, so when you're using an electric sharpener, it keeps everything consistent so that you're getting, you're maximizing the cut, you're maximizing the efficiency. And when you do that, you're not working as hard cutting the wood, you're, you're less prone to accidents, these sorts of things. Uh, I would recommend it. It is, a you know, it's, it's a little pricey. It's, you know, a couple hundred bucks or, or maybe a little more than that. But, you, you know, you can get the, um, you can get a competitive uh, model. You don't have to get a, an Oregon. But it just makes life easy. If you're cutting firewood every year, get an electric sharpener. Stop playing with a file. If you're a, a professional cutter and you're cutting, you know, trees down for a living and you're hitting it with a file every, you know, every other tank of gas or whatnot, yeah, sure. I mean, you do it every day. You know how to keep, stay consistent. But if you are someone that has a few acres and you're cutting firewood every year, um, you know, you might think you're saving a few bucks using a file. But, you know, at the end of the day... Uh, if you're going to be doing it for a number of years, you say, say, you know, five, let's say 10 years. If you're going to be doing it at least uh, at least 10 years, you're going to make your money back on this because the eventual inconsistencies that you build up on this chain, trying to sharpen it by hand, is going to catch up. You're going to have to bring it to the shop. They're going to have to sharpen it with an electric sharpener at some point, or you're going to have to buy a new chain. That's my advice. That's my recommendation. Great tool. Saves you time. I can sharpen a whole chain in like probably five minutes by hand. It takes me like literally 40 minutes because you have to, you have to file the cut and then you have the, the cutting uh, edge and then you have to file the gullet and then you have to, you know, hit the, um, you know, the, you know, the raker, you know, and, and make sure that, you know, your bite's not too much, not too little. And it's just, it takes forever, but this knocks it down to about five minutes, you know, five to seven minutes. I get a consistent uh, cutting chain every time. And I can get out there and cut my wood every year. Highly recommend uh, any kind of electric chainsaw sharpener. It doesn't have to be an Oregon, but it will save you time. It will it will keep you a little more safe, and it's just a, it's just a much better experience. That's my advice. Frank's Family Farms. We'll send another video soon.